Hey there, this is a quick video to show how to um, load the Clouds plugin. Um, so first thing is to open the settings.ini file and add the render config extension of the Clouds. Uh, the clouds. So this is how you do this. I usually add it right after the render config specification, but you don't necessarily have to add that there, but it's tidier. So let's save this, close this. Um, now we're going to actually load the Clouds plugin. So I will add a plugin and go to the Clouds plugin file. Let me open this. And now you can see that the Clouds resources are compiling. This is a good sign. Uh, I usually close Stingray at this point and, and launch it again. Uh, I think this is to give the settings INI file to be reparsed. Uh, we're, we're looking into making this a little bit more elegant at the moment. So now, in theory, the plugin is loaded. Um, so what we'll do is uh, drag a clouds entity in the scene. To do this, make sure you show the mapped folders, and we'll see the clouds resources are now um, viewable in, in the asset browser. So go there, find a clouds entity, and spawn one into the scene, just like that. And in theory, now we have some clouds. All right, so this is how you uh, load the Clouds plugin.